Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. And uh, I want to invite you all on a discussion that I'm having with a good friend. We go way back, and, and, and I cherish his knowledge, and I want you all to cherish his knowledge because he's bringing things to the table that needs to be heard. It might be new to a lot of you, but it's not new to your folks, and to your ancestors, but you got to have those who the ancestors speak through to to tell their story and to bring certain things into light in this time. And this is the time and what we need to speak upon and what needs to be done. And we respect those who bring forth knowledge to share with all of us as a community. So Cliff, brother Cliff, man, welcome to the show, bro. You got it, man. Man, you had something interesting uh, that we was talking about earlier, and I just wanted to uh, elaborate on uh, how things came about to where we are today, especially in terms of dealing with the Romans and the Greeks. Because when I was doing my research, I was looking at the um, how the, the 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 Visigoths and the Huns and the whatnot, how they took Portugal. And how the Moors came and took it back from them. But also hearing, talking to you, those same ones uh, expanded all the way up into Greek land. Um, because when you was explaining how the Greeks and the Romans, they were they virtually the same people? Uh, from the same tribe, basically. Mm. From the same area, from what they call the Levant, uh, I would kind of say what they call Western Eurasia, or whatever you call it over there. Right, right, because it is it, making sense now. So, okay, so so that so the story was. Okay, so now the, the 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 pair see. Okay, so they come out the Caucasus Mountain. They start spreading throughout the planet, right? So that means that the people that you're talking about, mm -hmm. they come out the Caucasus Mountains. Those people, uh, it was a lot of people, man. a lot of different tribes, right. you know, that make up those people. Okay. But, but when they come out the mountains and they start. Like Semitic, this word Semitic. Semitic languages was basically the languages of half breeds. Okay. All those Semitic languages. When they start mixing in with the peoples in them areas. And one of the Semitic languages I spoke on earlier was the language. Hebrew now, you know, everybody want to know who the Hebrews were. They trying to find out who the Hebrews was. Hebrew was actually a Semitic language. Mm -hmm. And we talked about, uh, you talked about uh, the African mystery systems or the African cosmology. Who, who corrupted all those? Now, all those, what you're talking about is carved in stone. Okay. When we first started getting our, um, what you call the Dead Sea Scrolls or all these books or the Bibles, mm -hmm. when the Hebrew speaking people invaded Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, you have to look at your history because history kind of colluded. You know, they kind of they don't want you to know the truth about that, but when they went in there, what they did, they broke the African mystery system down into 39 books. They corrupted it into 39 books. These would be um, the books of the Old Testament. When, you, when Jesus talks about the, uh, the prophets, these are the 39 books that he's talking about. And all these books... Uh, if, if you just go on and you check out any old Dead Sea Scrolls, any of these scrolls and these manuscripts, mm -hmm. they're all written in the same language, Hebrew. And then you have the Latin Vulgate, 
say that they found was written, the Old Testament and the New Testament was written in Latin. This is what they call the Latin Vulgate. A lot, of, a lot of people don't understand that Latin and Hebrew is basically the same language. Mm -hmm. So when people are hearing about the Old Testament and Hebrew, and the New Testament and Latin, they're actually thinking two different people wrote this. Right. Actually, it's one people. The Hebrews who later spoke Latin. And all of these people, what you're talking about, come out of these talking mountains, um, basically the Greeks was half Greeks. Right. You know, they they come out and they mix with um, what we call Asiatic, Afro Asiatic people. Right. The people that live like on outskirts of. Uh, it was all Africa. They didn't broke it up. Middle East, all that was Africa. But what we call Africa now, they were like on outskirts, like Egypt. In all them, all them northern, wow. northwest half. Mm -hmm. And you got, um, that's, that's why it's so confusing. Because when you read the Old Testament and you see these Jews, these Hebrews, a lot of people don't understand is we didn't have no J back then. Right. So, when you're reading this and you see the word Jews, you gotta understand that something is being hidden from you. Something is being confused. And they can't hide the Hebrew, Hebrew from you because all those manuscripts, the Dead Sea Scrolls, is written in Hebrew. So they basically turn Hebrew into a race and not a language to confuse you. That's why a lot of people are confused about who these people was, thinking that the Hebrews was actually dark skinned people. They may have been, but they was a mixed breed race. That's why if, if you look at the Greek emperors, the ones that got in, they done made stone heads out of, you can go online and you, look at, you can look at all, all of them. Man, just look at their hair. They have breeds. Right. right. These are your original Bible corruptors. That's why they were able to go in there and <clears throat> And get this information. Yeah, cause I, I know I know that there was no that July came from Julius Caesar and August came from Augustus Caesar and uh, yeah they were putting uh, the J's in. But let me ask you this: What was the purpose from uh, tricking and, and keeping all of this hidden from us? Because they didn't want to they didn't want us to know that they stole everything from us. control and when they when they went into Egypt and they saw all this cosmology all of this chorus and raw and, and all of this they they know where they come from you know people are stupid they know where they come from the gods that they were worshipping they turned all their gods into days of Monday Tuesday Wednesday January you know Right. And they start worshiping a corrupted form of the African cosmology. Because if you look at the Christian Christianity and what you call Judaism, is nothing but what they say pagan is nothing but the Roman religion. Because the Sabbath is nothing but that Saturnalia. Right. You know you. You can go. You can go all over Africa. You never find nobody. Uh, none of them people that practice something called a Sabbath. Right. That's certain million. That was a Roman holiday, just like Christmas right. and all this other stuff that are added to the religion. And um, the thing to keep us blind about it is the events. Look at the Old Testament. Look at ancient Rome. They, this, they. They, these are the ones that fight you and force you to believe on what they believe in. That's right. Right. And they have been doing it since the ancient times, and they did it to us, which they call the doctrine of discovery. They, come on, let's talk about it. That's right. They, That's right. the same exact thing when 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 they tell you in ancient Rome, uh, people are coming to Rome and worship their God, but they have to worship Rome. 
too. I have to rush around first. This is the same thing, what they call the doctrine of discovery. Going around and conquering people with religion. Because right. you're going to Africa, you're never going to find uh, African tribes reading one religion to another. Uh, that's all that Old Testament, the Jews, Hebrews, whatever, leaving this religion, going to this one. That was the Roman culture. That was them. Mm. You know, the Africans, they worship the same old they 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 wasn't protesting they like the protestant the lutheran they all fighting with each other and creating their own sect yeah but see uh people don't know how big the roman empire was man you know right. well, it was just, first of all you're not telling us that you know the roman empire today is germany that whole everything you know, Rome might have been the capital, but the Roman Empire was all of Eurasia and Germany. Right. Because right. if you trace their history, these people have been fighting over that area with everybody from the North Africans to right. the Middle East to the Vikings to the Khazars. Right. And if you even follow, they even had clashes with Asians, the Chinese. Mm -hmm. So... The Roman Empire was big. It still is big. We just don't know how big it is. Everybody thinks the Roman Empire is... The Roman Empire still exists. What was well, the Pope running now, right? The, the Jesuit Pope, yeah. They run it. Yeah. But they run it. Because people don't understand, when you talk about the national debt, trillions of dollars, who do you think we owe that money to? Right, right. Who has the power to loan a government trillions of dollars. Yeah. And how do you think they make good on, on the payments <laughs> with war? You know, that's the biggest money maker ever. Yeah, yeah and that, that's been all the way back to the Crusades. That's been a method. Even they was, I was reading how, how back in the day, how the Pope was the one who started all of this as far as uh, taking the land to go, giving the decree to take the lands wherever they saw the Moors, or they was calling all black people Moors at one time. Whether you was Jewish, Islamic, uh, Christian Moors, whatever, you was black. The Pope gave a decree after they uh, defeated uh, the Moors in Granada in Spain to wherever you see any black people on this planet, and if they not Christians, as far as the Constantine type or the the, the Catholic type Christians. You you had the right to just take their land, just come you know you you can rape, rob, and pillage. Yeah, it's, it's you know we call it the Spanish Inquest, but this uh, this is something they've been doing since they've been a people. Yeah, and we we weren't ready for that. Though. I think that this was a new mindset that was coming up on a plan that we weren't familiar with and that's how we got swept under unless we were in fighting with each other we weren't unified and we was allowed to get uh, uh, taken advantage of but I did read one story but I couldn't verify it was saying that the black people that was sold in Africa into slavery was black people the native that really was in America that was called the Jews who fled to Africa, and when they came, they was like, well, take these people, you know, y'all can have them, you know what I mean, they they not really part of us anyway. Well, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of stories like that popping up, because you don't know how much people was traveling, all you know is, you know, what you've been told, what yeah. you've been told, but the thing is, People have been traveling across this world for a long time. And um, once the world got settled, it finally all the shifts played. All this place shifted. Like, the oceans started swirling, made it hard to travel. But before then, before the, you know, the earth split and got to what's final position where it is now, people could travel. Yeah. People could travel. 
Yo, Bill, you know? you're right. But when you say that we've been we've been traveling for a long a long period of time, you're right. We was walking when it was called Pangea, as you stated earlier. Then we were boat makers, and we built boats, and we was traveling. We've been back and forth. Yeah, I mean, I see, you gotta understand these Atlantic oceans; they weren't that big. It wasn't hard to travel across them because it was like rivers. It was like, they got the deep ocean. Catch that wind current and you just, yeah, catch the current and then flow on, that float on down here. Yeah, because uh, the thing is, the moors. One one definition of the term moors is navigators. Right. right, right. Uh, the moors figured out, was the first to figure out the current of the ocean. Yeah. So you got, we got five oceans, and the reason why they all got five different names is because they're all spinning in five different directions. Mm. You know, that's why when you leave uh, Africa, you're going to hit South America because you can't go straight across the ocean to America. Right. And, and when, the current will right. take you way down to Africa. That's why they conquered South America first. Right. And that's why the colonizers kept hitting over there by Florida. They can't, they couldn't come straight across the ocean. When the ocean finally got set up, that that's that's one reason why you know a lot of these slave stories is, is not true. Right. Yeah, we was already here. Right. You know, it's it's that is a whole conversation in itself, though. But but right, but, but we're gonna touch on just a quick, quick minute. What I what I realized was we were already here, and but it it took the brothers and sisters coming from the east, and you, we you they united the with the people that was already here, and they were able to fight back. Cause it's like it's like if you if you in the if you in the middle of the funk or something for so long, you don't smell the, the stench. It takes somebody from the outside to come in and say, "Hey, you know, wake up. You know, we we can we can unite and 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 deal with these people." That's why John Horse uh, was a black uh, Indian. They don't even talk about his story, but he united with the African slaves and they fought and they they fought the the British. They fought with the Americans. He they eventually sent him down to Mexico. He became a general in the Mexican army. But I just say this to say that. A lot of the influencers came from outside of America to the natives, like uh, Ganga Zumba when he came to Brazil and he helped defeat the, the Portuguese. You know, Gaspar Yanga come out of West Africa to Mexico, got with the black native tribes in Mexico, and they defeated the Spanish in Veracruz. You know, it, it was just something to that. Um, you know, something to people coming from outside of the Americas sparking up that that warrior spirit with the natives that was here probably because you know we was dealing with this we we I don't, I don't want to say we had got depressed but being up under the colonizers rule and changing our way of things we kind of lost that drive and it seemed like people would come from outside of here giving us that drive back uniting with us and we started waking up again you know and they but then they kept finding different ways to put us back to sleep again whether it be uh, uh new laws that they enact or uh, uh politicians saying they're gonna do this or these deeds and whatnot i mean we can never keep up with the tricks you know yeah we couldn't keep up with the tricks until finally we got overwhelmed you know because you know, I, I ain't gonna lie. They came over here and they put a lot of things in motion. Now, we were sitting over here just chilling, man. We wasn't done, but when they came over here and started building stores and started building businesses, we got with them, but we wasn't able to keep up with them because right. of the laws and because, of, you know, certain things they was doing to steal our inventions. Still land, and the whole that was the whole purpose anyway. You know, they came over here and we shook their hand. We thought there was, you know, we going to be friends, but they had an agenda, right? You know, and 
we they finally forced us to assimilate. Now that's what really hurt black people. Right. That's what really hurt us, but we had no choice. You know, they made us all citizens in nineteen twenty four. So we had to assimilate, meaning we had to take, choose American name. You know. That was the main thing that hurt us. We didn't keep my tribal names. Right. So it's really no way for me with this name. I got to figure out who I was and where I come from. Right. Because, you know, it was just something that our people picked on the spot. Yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 we right. When we had, when I, when our tribal name meant something that connected us to this universe and to this earth. To this earth. Is, is and, it, you know, a lot of people took travel names after a win. All of that is gone. It, it's just like today, they don't want them wearing locks or what they call dreadlocks because they figure it gives you some sense of power. Or like in the 70s, they didn't want you with the afro or you couldn't have the black fist or, you know, like you couldn't show anything that... that, 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 that empowers that, you as a people, as a person. Uh, anything we do that shows strength and unity... You know, they got to do away with that. Dude, you, you remember, look, I remember in school, if a bunch of us was hanging out together, they'd come break it up. Yeah, yeah. And, well, you know, we was kids, man. We weren't doing nothing at all. Nothing. We didn't even know nothing. You know, we just... Yeah. Because that's, because that's, that's in our subconscious mind as a people, we going to congregate and talk about life issues. We've been doing that since Egypt. Yeah. So we naturally going to do it, but they knew that. That's why they had to break us up. What y'all doing? Move along. What you Break that up. Like, break that up, man. We, what you mean? You know? Yeah. But they made us rebels young because we sensed something wasn't right. But we didn't like being picked on. Why you, why, you know, why you picking on? Why you messing with me, man? Yeah, harassment. You know, we, that's, that's the thing, my black people. We, we, uh, we're not violent, but we quick to... Hey, you know, what's up, man? You know, back up off of me. Right. That's, yeah. that's right. That's our first thing. Hey, wait a minute. We're going to give you a chance. Yeah. Right. Cease and assist. Stop. But they, it's just like, since there's no respect for us, it's like, oh, uh, nigga, whatever you said, I ain't paying no attention to you, and they keep uh, aggressing forward. And you and, and they fail to realize you're right. A lot of us are from here, from these warrior tribes to where... We we don't we it, we not aggressive, but the spirit of our ancestors in us. Yeah, and you know, especially dealing with the police, because the police are trained to pick a fight. Basically, they train to pick a fight to see what your mind is. And a lot of times, nine out of ten, you know, we well, we're not trying here. Nah, not even. You know, <laughs> And that's the thing because we know that this is our land, man. We it's something telling us we don't we don't like being, you know. It, it, it's a lot that goes with it, bro. I mean, it's a lot it, because you know once you once you even felt like you've been defeated and you lost your will to stand up for yourself, you might as well just go lay down somewhere. It's over. Well, that's the goal. That's the point they're trying to get us to. You know, you know this. And if we don't, I don't, I don't know what we can do about it. But you know, look at our leaders, man. Look at the rappers now. You know, if you if you Google the top rappers now, man, they all white and they all out of the UK. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you Google the black rappers, they are okay. But you know, look at you. look at where we going. Not all of them, but the main ones that's selling on the radio. They they us. Yeah. It's just and there ain't enough that we can do with people like us. Right. Because, you know, they they getting the money, the lifestyle and they like <laughs> that's what it's about. Yeah, but you're right, but but the thing about it is you make that money, you turn around and give it right back to them. It's not coming to your community, so you still losing. You're still losing. And then, you know, you got, like, every now and then, you get a brother like LeBron come through and build a school. But then, that too, that's probably something they asking you to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Just to keep us <laughs> yeah. straight. Just to keep you know, us they, 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 they 
not going to never let us come together as a people. We're going to have to do that on our own. True. You look at like, like, like Gail Kim. You see what just happened with her? Yeah, I just you know, why, why would you do something like why that, would, man? But then, but then now, this is what gets me. She come out and she says that, well, I did a few interview and they pieced things together and they didn't represent me right. I'm upset with CBS. And I'm like, if that's the case. You said with CBS? Yeah. That she they sat there and asked those questions. Right. Yeah. But the thing the thing about it was is if that's the case, why didn't you bust in their door and say, Hey, look, don't represent me like that? As a matter of fact, if they had respect for you, they would have got your approval before they added. So what you saying, you a pup and they just do whatever they want to do and it's, your hands just tied? That is the case because you see what her response was. Uh, they told me just to leave it alone. People are going to drag me and just yeah. don't act to it. Come on, man. Yeah, come on. Come on. And then, ah, uh, man. It's, yeah, it's meaning, meaning, see, what, what she fell to realize is that I'm, I'm sorry, man. And, and look. 1995, right? They had the Million Man March, right? Yeah. So when when when, when Farrakhan broke down, you know Benjamin Banner again, the Moors, and who built the White House, and that, but really what was happening was everybody that was there started getting a spark for knowledge, right? Yeah. And they start studying different aspects. I don't care if you Pan African or Hebrew Israelites, whether you were Muslim, the five percent of the whatever. Then that next generation, it got passed down to. Then it got passed down, that was 25 years ago. So you got a lot of scholars and a lot of people with knowledge that ain't having it today. Like, wait a minute, this, this now, they challenging, they challenging the system now and the colonizers are not used to that, you know? Yeah. So, and then another thing is, now this coming out of the colonizer's own mouth. He, he saying he had a, that, they not producing enough white children to sustain a culture, right? So, if their population is dwindling down, are we ready to step in place and keep this thing rolling as a people, or, or if they fall, everything falling? Man, we got some smart people. We got see, they don't want you to think we're ready. It's a, and the people that saying that is actually some black experts that, you know, made the comment that we weren't ready. We ready. If y'all are talking about it and y'all know it's coming, we ready. We're not the type of people that have to take years to prepare for something, you know? Come We're on, not man. like that. That's right. Come on, girl. Man, I'm glad you see it. White, white people got to understand when, when y'all hear people saying they're not producing enough children, it ain't that they're not producing enough children. It's just, it's, the real fact is they're not at home, man. You know, we can't go to China and think we're going to outpopulate China. Right. And outgrow them. It's not you know, eventually they're going to overtake us. And that is what's happening now. Right. And they don't want to say that because if they have to say that, they have to explain to white people that when a white person gets on TV and says he hates black and he gets punished by other white people, other white media. You got to understand why that's happening, man. You can't go to China and say, I hate Chinese, man. You're going to get killed. Right, that's right. You know? And right. black people, we don't have the power to stand up for ourselves right now. Right. So that's why media and the white people punch, man. You can't come to the of black people and say you hate black people. Right, yeah, you can't. You know, they down right now, and ain't nothing they can do about it. But if we was in our rightful position... Man, we would throw everybody off this continent that said anything close to that. Right. We would not even do about it. Yeah, but, but they can tell we getting a little closer because Snoop jumped on Gail and folks was just coming out the woodworks like, what the hell are you talking about? You know what I mean? When when once upon a time, everybody would just would have been quiet and we have been scared to say something. They, they can tell. would have been scared that. to say something. Right. Yeah. You know, folks not scared no more. But not me, meaning... Meaning, and the reason why people are not scared because all the brutality and all the injustice, when your folks just back against the wall and they just need need a relief, like you know, they really want to say, just leave us, stop, leave us alone, man. Yeah, and what's really crazy is, is you know, the fact that they can't bait us in to all of this 
gun violence that they're trying to promote. Yeah. You know, with Donald Trump and these people that's following him. Not all of the people that's following him, but the majority of the people that's following him. I mean, they mad as hell, Vince. Yeah, they mad. They, you know, they marching down the street. Yeah. And they had one protest. It was just some, some white women standing out there that didn't like it. They had something to say. And these men just start fighting on these women like they beat Yeah. Yeah, I mean... See, then that's the problem. See, that's what's going to... That is a problem. Because Donald Trump just beat this impeachment. His, his crowd is growing. But his crowd, the majority of it, his crowd is maniac. Yeah, they maniac. But the thing is, Cliff, you can't, you can't jump on black women and expect black men to sit back because if it continues, then it shows that we ain't shit. We can just, it, meaning when a man can take your woman and do whatever and conquer whatever, then that means you, you, you have, you, you don't even exist as, as a man. You yeah. can't, you can't do that to white women. You can't do that to Hispanic women. Yeah, they kind of got it defeated as a people right now, man. That's, that's why we need people to step up, say something, do something. Yeah, but it, it's coming. I mean, I ain't saying, I'm just saying, you know, it's time. Time dictates what needs to be done, bro. You know, uh, you know, when, 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 the, cre- when the creator start waking up your self-value and people's self-worth and the creator bags you, you don't let no man uh, take that away from you. See, that's why a lot of black people. See that? Let me tell you something. That was one main reason why uh, Islam was attractive, because it, it the, the main tenet in Islam was no fear, and the, the the part of Christianity that they were teaching black folks was they were teaching us fear, and the counter that fear was Islam, because the one thing was it said. You fear no man but the God. That's it. So you don't bow down to no man. And that was a message that we needed at a time. Because of, because the colonizer was saying, you bow down to me. But yet here go a God saying, you bow down to no man. And, yeah. and that's, that's what made it attractive. And a lot of black people was, you know... Converting, like, yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not bowing down to no man but the God, but the Creator. I'm sorry, Creator, you ain't create me. The Creator created me. He gave me, and He told me I was somebody. So I'ma stand with that. Like, yeah, I'ma stand with the Creator. Yeah, Islam empowered a lot of black people. Yeah, Islam empowered a lot of black people. Yeah, you know, start out on yeah, and spread it to the south. But see, the thing about it, what they don't know, well, Cliff, do what they don't know about though, man. Islam, I think I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but Islam was in the South first, man. You, you check this out. You know Carverdale, right? Yeah. Now what street? What's the street names over there? You got Morocco. You got Tangiers. You got Algiers. How the hell they get them names? When Carverdale was one of the first black neighborhoods in Houston before it was home. So that means there has to be some moors over here where I'm at. They got a street called Mound for the Mound Builders. Like, something going on, man. They hiding from us. Like all the mounds up and down the Mississippi. The Mississippi. Come on, bro. But you got a street called Morocco. Who named Morocco Morocco? That's what I was telling you. You got Memphis. You know, I, 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 that name dates back to D.C. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh man, it's it's just it's frustrating, bro. I'm sorry, it's frustrating, man. We we got all this at our fingertips and it's like something is just missing, bro. We just can't put it together, bro. Well the problem we can't put it together is because it's so many traps out there. It's so many traps out there. Yeah. You know, and um just say for instance, you come across a word. And you don't know if you go in your phone to a trans and you translate it. And you translate it 
from English to Spanish. All right. When you learn how to pick what language you want to translate to, you gonna have languages from all over the world. Right. Except for Indian. Mm-hmm. All right. So ask yourself, why can't if I can translate a word from Spanish from English to uh, to Arabic? How come I tra- can't translate it into Indian? I'm speaking the Indian dialect. I'm in America. You know, I, 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 obviously everybody in America sound like the Indians. This is they, this is they dialect. Yeah. Right. And we don't have none of their language in there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This yeah. Is, that's one way to hide things. Because right. if you look up Indian words, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see some word that's like avocado, for instance. They don't tell you this, uh, uh, the way the Indians say it was H, A-H-U-C-A-T-L. How do you say that? Right. But then they're going to have the word avocado. Now, this is how you, you see how they flip it. They have the Indians speaking with accent. No, we don't speak with no fucking accent. Right. And the real word avocado is going to be the word. Right. If you flip that shit around, you can see what's going on. That accent and word is how they see it, avocado. Right. right. So, if your basic knowledge that you're getting from a dictionary is tricking you, then everything you're getting is a trick. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's what it's going to take to, you know, people that sit down and use common sense to spit a lot of things out. And that's why we keep running around in circles. That's why, you know, like the Morris brothers, they keep going to court and losing. You know. And then you see black people that's saying, hey man, I'm a Cherokee Indian and they winning. Yeah. You know, people that should do what works. First of all, we gotta quit being hard here. I understand we love knowledge, but sometimes some of this knowledge is a trap. Yeah. Fact, it's right. a trap. I can, yeah, I can understand. I can, yeah. But you know, you got it right. But see, it's like it's like trash in the sense you got to dig through all of it till you get the diamond, till you get the gold. You gotta keep digging. You gotta keep digging. You gotta keep digging. Cause that that one knowledge is it le- it leads you to a spot. Then you gotta go to another. And then you got you know you gotta keep digging. But let me ask you this before we close out, though, bro. Do you think that? Or, or I could be wrong, because they might don't have any knowledge. But do you think that the Masonic Brothers should share what they know with the community since we up under our list division? Or do they really, or the knowledge that they have is not enough to even change nothing? If they share it, because I'm guaranteeing this, you know, they, they, they have a lot People are scared of Masonic and all them words because they, they see some evil in it. When the only thing these people is keeping is the truth, they're not hiding a lie from us. Come on. They're not hiding something made up. So sharing the truth has got to be vital to us even stepping forward. Mm. So, you know, these secrets that these brothers run around saying that they got and they make sure, okay, man. It's the truth. If it ain't a lie, you ain't hiding no lie from it. Share that. Just share it, yeah. Share it. That's what I'm Share it. You know. Man. Yeah. Yeah, share it. Wow. And they been keeping these secrets forever. They been running around with these secrets. Won't tell nobody. But the problem is, we gonna figure it out. Y'all ain't got to tell us. We gonna figure it out. Right. It's coming anyway, right? Yeah. The God, the God revealing it anyway. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna yeah we gonna be all right, man. Cool. Man, yeah, like I went to, ch- to my sister's church and talked to me and they laughed at me and said, "Yeah, but y'all went up in here rain dancing." Yeah, for real. Yeah, <laughs> y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all got a whole rain right dance crew. Yeah, what you think you speaking in tongues, running around up and down the aisle for? Yeah, where you get that from? Talking about praise dancing, y'all, y'all back to doing what we was doing. Yeah, they they so, make the medicine man deacons and preachers. Yeah. Well, see that what they don't know is man, you know John Smith and wrote when they came over they said man, uh, we had this is how they knew they could trick us with religion. They said man, you know 
we had religious leaders everywhere. Right. So we weren't just over here just not doing anything, man. We was we was on it. Right. And all of them, what you just call, it's, it's all coming back. It's all gonna come back. The medicine man, this, that, and all is gonna come back. All is gonna come back too. Because you can't, you know, sooner or later, you're gonna have to say, hey man, we don't have no evidence of nobody coming from nowhere in Africa. You know, because people keep asking. If y'all can tell us about ancient BC, Y'all can tell us exactly where y'all took us from. Y'all still had that knowledge. Y'all know all about Jesus from 20,000 years ago. Y'all know about five, you know, y'all don't know about 500 years ago. Right. Yeah. Y'all gotta come up with some answers, man. Yeah. And once people start realizing there ain't no answers coming, because you got to live the wrong way. I mean, people, we gonna have to <laughs> give it up. And, you know, because... Everybody running to is fighting on this, fighting. We, you know, y'all deny y'all African roots. No, we not. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are the one denying y'all roots. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, because the, yeah, yeah, the, that topic, you know, they say our life started in that continent, but we migrated from there 20,000, 16, 20,000 years ago. Well, now they got what they call um, the multi-regional view on how the Africa thing, saying that life came out of Africa and spread across everywhere. And then there was a second out of Africa event. Mm -hmm. And the first people that came out of Africa were like pre humans and the, you know, then we chain the homo sapiens. And they, you know, it, it makes sense. And now they want to say, you know, the reason why um, people with dark skin have had to do with sun and radiation, that even makes sense. No. You know, but if y'all got all of this knowledge, say, man, when y'all got off that boat, my people told you this is what we call ourselves. We want that answer, man. Yeah. So we start calling ourselves all these other names. That's right. But they gotta realize, wait, me- melanin is melanin. Melanin is, is is dark matter. Before there was any color, before before God put the sun in the sky, it was only darkness. He had to he only could be the only color that existed was black. Wasn't no wasn't no sun to even have the rainbows in different colors. Yeah, that melanin came straight out that uh, out, out of dark space, out of that dark matter, and that's where the, the, the original melanin came from. You know, yeah, yeah. melanin is the most understood thing on the planet, and the most admired thing by white people on the planet. That's right. Any look, anybody, man, look, thank thank the creator if you got melanin. You, I mean, you, 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 you bless tenfold. You bless a thousand times. Hell, you trust me. God protect. That's that's a natural sun blocker. Melanin heals itself. That's that's chemi- That's chemistry. They talking about. Don't let nobody make you uh, a saint for melanin. Tell, tell every all the great man, please. Yeah, love and cherish your melanin. Yeah, because a lot of people don't have it. Yeah, nah, and they catching hell for it, too. What's the about melanin is melanin is in everything. Right. Except certain people. Right. You know, so. Yeah, I can't let nobody feel, feel ashamed that, that you got something that they don't have. Till now. Right. Yeah, I love it. I, I love my God. <laughs> For real. Yeah, it's going down. That was up, man. Look, as always, man, you know, because this Black History Month, you know, we I, I, see, I like having guests like, like yourself and Low Key and Brother Jamal and different people because Black History Month is more than just Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, 
Malcolm X. That's more than that, man. More than that. It's way more than that, man. You know, <laughs> man. More than that. So you when I have you, some three people every year. Yeah. And, and, and when I have when I have you on the show and other, we talk about real black history and see what happens is the people they hear something you have said or I said and they go back and research it and they say, oh, damn, yeah, this did happen. And then they spread it and it keep rolling. You know what I mean? They keep rolling. And they keep rolling. That's why, like, I, that's why they say well, you can just touch one. If you can just touch one, and that one gonna tell somebody. And then I was gonna tell, and then we do another show, and they all did you hear this, and they just keep rolling like that, man. Yeah, man. Till next time, bro. Stay up, man. I appreciate your time. All right. Bet. All right.